Here we have Wintec's brand new HMI. So this is the 3162XW, try saying that three times fast. This is one of two web-based HMIs within our line. The other one being the CMT 3108XP. The one I'm holding here is coming in an astonishing 16 inches and is featuring their web-based HMI browser. And once we flip the device over, you can see we start off with our 24 VDC power supply port, the two connection ports, uh, you have your standard USB-C 2.0 and your two ethernet ports. Let's go ahead and plug this in. So I'm just gonna have this port go into the power port. It's 24 VDC again, and then ethernet as well. You can use this web-based HMI and you can go to all the different projects you want just by simply plugging in that new URL at the top. And this lets you navigate between all of your projects very simply and not restart all over or upload projects. Just plug in that URL and it will switch it for you. So this is the greeting page that's gonna meet you. This is the panel settings. If you do need to get here, you can press on the top right corner and the button will take you back here. Here it will be prompted to put in the password. The default password will be the ever inconspicuous 111 111. You may want to change this down the line as everyone will know this and kind of want to pass and protect yourself. And then after you log in, you get your navigation bar on the left side. This is where, where you get your system, web browser, network, features, wind cloud, and administration. Let's head over to our network tab and select ethernet and configure IP. For now, I'll select automatic as the HMI will retrieve the IP address via DHCP. Let's say you want your HMI to open up to a dashboard upon startup. You can go to the web browser and web browser settings. And then here under default website, I've already placed the dashboard URL for the one I've created. So after hitting save, you can go to the home button at the top left and it will open up the dashboard. One last thing before we test this out. Let's add our logo to the startup window. This is fairly simple as we will need to get a PNG file and then put that in a USB and then we can just plug that in right here. And then going back to the panel settings, we're gonna switch up the startup image. So once I get here, I go under systems, then display and miscellaneous. And then here I can customize the startup. So right now I have that one. I can just select from the USB drive I've just inserted, select okay. That's the image I want, and I can click save, and now I have the new image. Oh, the image, that's the PNG file, does need to be below two megabytes though. Overall, the CMT3162X is well quite simple, and not in a bad way. You get all the power and versatility of the CMT-X series, just streamlined. If you have any more questions, please reach out. Um, our forum is at forum.wintechusa. You can also reach out at any other at the any other links below and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching all the way through.